السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک کلاس سیونتھ ان یور آن لائن میتھمیٹکس کلاس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دی ایکسرسائز نائن ایف وچ از بیسڈ آن دا کویشچن آف سمپل انٹرسٹ سو واٹ از سمپل انٹرسٹ سمپل انٹرسٹ از دا ایڈیشنل منی وچ دی بارو ہیز ٹو گیو ٹو دا لینڈر and the formula to find out the simple interest is equals to p into r into t divided by 100 this p this p is principal this is the money which the lender gives to the borrower okay this is the or uh, this is the money which the lender give to the borrower so and what is r r is rate percent rate interest percent Uh, and time uh, t is time that then a a is equals to principal plus si this a is the amount this is the uh, amount of money which the borrower has to give to the lender after the uh, certain interval of time and this amount is equals to the principal plus si that is the money which he has uh, borrowed plus the additional money is the amount and the another formula to find out the amount is this amount is equals to p bracket 1 plus rt divided by 100 now let's start exercise 9f question number 1 find the simple interest and amount when principal is rupees 600 rate is 8% this p a is per annum per annum means annually and the time is 2 years now we know that simple interest is equals to p into r into t divided by 100 now what is given this principal that is p is given is equals to 600 r rate is 8 and time is 2 years divided by 100 now 0 0 cancel out and when you multiply these numbers you will get uh, rupees 96 this is the simple interest and we have to find the amount also so amount is equals to principal plus si principal is 600 and si is 96 so here we get the amount 696 this is the third part here the principal is given uh, 850 p is equals to rupees 850 and rate percent is given that is 1.5% but it is given per month per month this rate percent is uh, given in per month and time time is equals to 1.3 years and the time is given in years but the rate percent is given as per month so we change this rate percent into per annum per annum means annually right so per, we to change this into per annum what we do we multiply it by uh, 12 because one year is equal to how many months 12 months to, so we multiply this into uh, we multiply this by 12 to change this into per annum so here we get 18% per annum when the time when the here the time is given in years so uh, it is compulsory to convert this rate percent into annum per annum now the simple interest is equals to p into r into t divided by 100 now p is rupees 850 and rate is 18 multiply by time that is 1.3 year divided by 100 now on calculating this you get the si 198.90 and amount amount is equals to principal plus si which is equals to 850 plus 198.90 here you get rupees 1048.9 fourth part principal is equals to rupees 400 rate percent is 10 paise per rupee per annum it means it is per annum that is 10 percent and time time is here 6 months 
here the time is given in months and rate is given in per annum so we change this into this time into year so in years we divided by 12 to convert this into year year so here we get 1 upon 2 year so time is this now we have p we have r and we have t now si is equals to p into r into t divided by 100 400 into 10 and here time is 1 so we write 1 here and we write 2 here below and in the formula we have 100 also understood how we write time when it is given in a form of fraction we write 1 here and 2 in a denominator now 0 0 cancel out 220 times so here we get the si is equals to p 20 and amount si plus principal that is 20 plus 400 which is equals to rupees 420 question number three in what time will rupees 7850 amount to rupees 8635 at 4% per annum amount to mean that amount is this and principal is 7850 so what is given here principal principal is equals to rupees 7850 and amount is equals to rupees 8635 and rate percent is given that is 4% and we have to find out the time. So here we will use this formula. A is equals to P bracket 1 plus RT divided by 100 to find out the time. Now amount is 8635 is equals to principal 7850 1 plus R. R is 4. And time we don't know. So we write T here divided by 100. Now this is here. This 7850 is in multiplication. When we transfer this here. We will divide 8635 divided by 7850. Which is equals to 1 plus 4T divided by 100. Now what we do here. We, we add these two numbers. So, 8635 divided by 7850 is equals to LCM of 1 and 100 is 100. When divide 1 and 100, we get 100 and 100 multiplied by 1 is 100. Similarly, here 100 divided by 100, we get 1 and when we multiply 1 here, we get 40. Now, we transfer this 100 this side. Here, we get 8635 divided by 7850 multiplied by 100 is equals to 100 plus 4t. Now, 0, 0 cancel out. Now, we get 8, 8, 6, 3, 5, 0 divided by 7, 85 minus 100 is equals to 4t. Now, when you uh, solve this, you will get 110 minus 100 is equals to 40 here you get 10 is equals to 40 and when we transfer this 4 here so we get the time 5 by 2 when you cancel out this you will get 5 by 2 and then convert this into mixed fraction you will get 2 whole number 1 upon 2 years question number 8 if the rate of interest is reduced from 5% per annum to 3 whole number 1 upon 2% per annum. Then find the decrease in a half year's interest on rupees 540. So here what is given that the principal is rupees 540 and two rates are given. Let's take this rate r1 is 5 percent right and in half years it means that time is what half year that is 1 upon 2 years okay now uh, when the rate is r1 then we ta uh, take the si then the si would be si1 
okay so p into r into t divided by 100 here the rate is r1 then 540 into 5 into 1 into 2 now 0 0 cancel out 2 1 times 2 2 times 2 7 times 5 1 times 5 2 times so when you cancel out when you solve this you will get rupees 13.5 this is the interest when the rate is 5 percent okay now when the rate is 3 whole number 1 upon 2 percent or you can say that 7 upon 2 percent then the simple interest would be P into R2 into time divided by 100. So P 540 and rate is 7 by 2 into time 1 by 2 100. So here you get 189 when you cancel out this 0 0 cancel out 2 1 times 2 27 times. So here you get 189 divided by 20. So you get here rupees 9.45. Now we have to find out the decrease in a uh, half year's interest. So the decrease uh, in a half year's uh, interest would be we subtract SI1 minus SI2. Okay. So, decrease, decrease in half year's interest is equals to SI1 minus SI2. That is 13.5 minus 9.45 which is equals to rupees 4.05. Question number 9. If rupees 160 amount to rupees 166 in 8 months, find to what it will amount in 1 year at the, at the same rate of interest. So, what is given here? This is principal, this is amount, this is time. Right? And we have to find out the rate. First, we find out the rate. So to find out the rate, first we have to find out the simple interest. So here the amount is given. Principal is 160, amount is 166. So simple interest is equals to amount minus principal. Amount is 166 and principal is 160. So here we get rupee 6. This is simple interest. And time is given. Time is equals to 8 month. Time is equals to 8 months. Now, what we do here? Uh, we find out the rate. So, simple interest is equals to P into R into T divided by 100. 6 is equals to 160 into R into 8 divided by 100. This 0, this 0 cancel out. 6 into 10 divided by 16 into 8 is equals to r here we get 60 divided by 16 into 8 is equals to r 230 times to 8 times so r is equals to 30 divided by 64 this percentage is in per month okay now we convert this into per annum so, rate is equals to, to convert this into per annum, what we do? We multiply it by 12. So, it will be converted into per annum. So, here we get the rate 45 by 8% per annum. Now, we will find out, what we have to find? We have to find out uh, the amount what will it will amount in one year at the same rate of interest if the uh, uh, rate percent is same and time is one year then what will be the amount so principal here 
again the principal is same that is 160 rate is same and time would be one year so principal 160 time one year and rate 45 by 8 percent so we find out the si first p into r into t divided by 100 160 into 45 divided by 8 into 1 now on simplification here you get the si is equals to 9 now we have to find amount si plus principal 9 plus 160 which is equals to rupees 169 question number 10 at what rate will rupees 100 double itself in 7 years at simple interest so here what is given principal is given 100 uh, rupees 100 now what uh, the question is saying that at what rate will rupees 100 double itself it means that amount when uh, amount would be 100 into 2 that means rupees 200 so this is the amount and time is equals to 7 years and we have to find out the rate so we use this formula amount is equals to p1 plus rt divided by 100 so 200 is equals to 100 1 plus r into 7 divided by 100 now 200 when we transfer this 100 this side 200 divided by 100 is equals to 1 plus 7 r divided by 100 now 0 0 cancel out here we get 2 and here we use we find out the LCM so here we get 100 plus 7 R now we cross multiply so here we get 100 plus 7 R then 200 we transfer this 100 this side which is equals to 7 R that means 7 R is equals to 100 that means R is equals to 100 divided by 7 percent and when you convert this into mixed fraction, you will get 14 whole number 2 by 7%. This is rate.